Hey yo, what is going on everybody? The Pray Slash here and we are back with another music reaction. And ladies and gentlemen, Massive Man dropped another song. I've been super stoked waiting for this to drop. Um, I didn't know who it was going to feature or when it was going to drop, but he dropped it. Dude, I'm fucking excited. For those of you that don't know, hold on. For those of you that don't know, Massive Man is one of my favorite artists. I've been reacting to the dude since I've started this channel. And the dude has some of the most heavy-hitting songs I've heard. Now, I said he's going to start putting out eventually some more upbeat songs, um, which I'm also looking forward to. But he is very much known for his very dark side of lyricism. Um, his songs usually have a very dark turn to them or touch on a very dark and heavy subject um, this song is called sick it's featuring Massetti, which we've heard before hunted dalo who we've also heard before but i don't think i've ever heard of charlie blaze but regardless man i'm super stoked for this we're not going to waste too much more time we're going to slash it up we're going to break it down ladies and gentlemen i don't know what to expect here so like i said i'm just super stoked to check this out massive man sick let's go baby <clears throat> Those of you that don't know, that's Massive Man. You said I make you sick, sick to your stomach. And when I see you, I know I'm gonna love it. Cause I'm happy, happier than I've ever been. You're distracting, you and me have come to an end. I know you're gonna think of me every time you date. And when he says you're beautiful, it doesn't feel the same. This is a breakup song or a post breakup song. Okay. Already talk about, I know you're going to, you know, you're sick of me. And, and I love that too. He's like, anytime you date, you're going to think of me. Anytime he calls you beautiful, it's not going to feel the same. Mm, I like it. I like it. Every time you kiss a man, you know it's a mistake. Cause he is not the same as I am loving how it tastes. I would have gave the world to you. Traveled down to hell and back. Climbed up every mountaintop with you up on my back. I would swim across an ocean, then I'd walk on molten glass. Just so I could get to you, the love would always last. Mm. <clears throat> He's talking about there's not going to be a man out there that's going to do for you what I would have done. These are the things that I would be willing to do. Just to make you happy. I'd have been to hell and back. I'd have walked on molten lava glass. He's not going to do the same for you. Man, I love it. Now you're feeling empty with a frown upon your face. The thought that makes you sick at night is I can't be replaced. I was never mad at you. Just hated how you felt. And then you turn around and made my life a living. And if you're feeling lonely, I will not be there to hold you. You better wipe them tears up, cause baby girl, I told you. If you walk away from me, I'm never coming back. And all that's left of you and me are memories we've had. You said I make you. Ooh, all that's left of us are memories. Dude, I love this song already. Holy shit, mess. It reminds me, it reminds me of a time during one of the breakups I had with my ex-wife. And I was very cocky for no reason, but I remember looking at her one time during the breakup and I said, you know, there's plenty of fish in the sea, but, it's just, but the difference between you and me is there's only one of me. Very asshole -ish thing to say. Again, when you're arguing, it is very easy to say some shit that's just very hurtful. But, like, that's kind of... <clears throat> not to that extent, but that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this. Is, is, like, no matter what, you can't replace me. You can't replace the love that I gave you. You know, you're sitting at home being miserable and... 
there, there's a hole there for you. And that hole was me. And there's nothing you're going to be able to do to get that back. Nothing. I'm super stoked to hear what the other two or three got to say. This the mass great fucking verse, dude. I loved it. Sick, sick to your stomach. And when I see you, I know I'm gonna love it. Cause I'm happy, happier than I've ever been. You're distracting, you and me have come to an end. Cause you make me sick, sick to my stomach. And when I see you, it's not what I wanted. I'm happy, happier than I've ever been. Distractions help me back and I can't hold a man I don't think it's wrong at all We just never mix well Driving on a highway too fast So we fishtail I- Ooh And that's another thing too man Sometimes you get into a relationship <clears throat> And it's great Great at first But something happens and, and, and it's not always something that's like Obvious But like th- there's just something that happens And you realize that like You just don't mix well like you don't compliment each other the way that a couple should um there's an Eminem track I don't remember what it is right off hand but he has a line somewhere that's very similar he he did a song about Kim or to Kim and he says something along the lines of uh something like we're not horrible people, people, but we're horrible together. And that is, it, it's it's a very real thing that happens sometimes. It's a very real thing that happens sometimes. Because sometimes people, no matter how much they're attracted to each other and how good things are at first, sometimes people just down the road, just they, they're not compatible. Um, it's a prime example of why you should never just jump into marriage. There's a lot of people that jump into marriage within the first year or two that they're together. But down the road... Things just don't work out the way that everybody hopes, and it's because there's no compatibility there in the long run. I like it. We just never mix well, driving on a highway too fast, so we fishtailed. I have never heard your side, nor do I care. Love has been a war in the mind, you don't fight fair. Stay off in the midst of what we used to be. Usually, I'm sticking close to things that ruin me. I can choose to leave, but my heart doesn't want to. I want it too much, looking back from a far view. I hope that this haunts you. Music out the speakers, drowning out the dreams that I have where I see her. Life goes on no matter what we embrace. We either bounce back quick or we slam on the brakes. It's harder to face, believing that we have what it takes. I hit you up, the last message that I write from you states. You said I make you sick. Dude's voice is fucking outstanding. I don't know who that is. I want to say I, I I hope it's in the order that they're performing, so I think it's Massetti. But at the same time, the only person I remember that actually sang on a mass song was Hunter Dallas. So I don't know if that's Hunter Dalla. Or fuck, it could be Charlie. I don't know. Whoever it was, beautiful voice. I loved the verse too, man. And and he, and, and he's he's hundred percent right. When a relationship ends, either you move on quick, you bounce back and you keep going, or you slam on the brakes and life stops for a little bit, which is actually what happened in my in my divorce. It's like when the time came and we realized we just were no longer compatible, dude, my life, I went through six to eight months of just straight severe depression. And it wasn't so much because we weren't together anymore. It was a mix of just loneliness. Um, and it's, it's hard to explain, but straight up, 100%, I can understand 100% how that feels. That That's, whew. I'm loving this song, man. I'm loving this song. Sick to your stomach, and when I see you, I know I'm gonna love it. Cause I'm happy, happier than I've ever been. You're distracting You don't know the pain 
I'm guessing for sure this is Charlie Blaze, because I don't think I've ever seen this guy before. So. Baby, I'm hopeless. hopeless. But you know what they say. Hearts were made to be broken. Yep. Girl, I couldn't get enough. get enough. I guess it's really just the price I pay for love. Pay for love. And now you make me sick and gee, who would have thought? And I like his take on it too. He's, I, I felt this way about a relationship too. I seen the, you know, who my ex got with, and I'm like, you have no clue what you're getting into. But it ain't my problem no more. It ain't my problem no more. I'm gonna move on and be happy. Whew. Dude, this song is dope as fuck. You told me you love me and it's not true. And now I'm happy with somebody that's not you. Ooh. It's almost like this whole song is just an evolu like a like an evolution of post breakup. Like <laughs> Dude. That happens a lot too. Oh my fucking God. Do you know how many times I've gotten into a relationship? This includes my marriage. Where when you get together, you guys have so much in common. So much. Or at least you think you do, right? You see, the, the, the person you get with is like, oh, I love horror movies. Like for me, usually. Oh, I love horror movies. So you start off watching a whole lot of horror movies together. And they're like, oh, I'm not much of a gamer, but, you know, I wouldn't mind playing a little bit. And then you get them into a game and they play a little bit. And then it's like, or my favorite, they love sex. So there's a lot of that going on. And then somewhere down the line, things change. And, 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 and they kind of show who they really are. And truth is, they, they, they really don't care about anything you're into. Um, it was just a facade that was put up. And I think that's what aggravates me the most about most of the relationships I've been in is I've never pretended to be something that I've not. I've always been straightforward with who I am, the things that I believe in. And granted, time changes, you change as a person, so sometimes the things you you know, the things you believe do change as well. And I get that that happens, and that can also be what causes a disconnect in a relationship. But so many times it's just straight up facade. They're they're pretending to be somebody they're not. Oh, I love hip hop music, but then it eventually gets to the point where like, oh no, they don't they don't want to listen to hip hop, and then you're stuck listening to on car rides, listening to a bunch of shit that you just normally wouldn't listen to. It's it can be very aggravating. And, and the biggest advice I can give to anybody is never, never pretend to be something you are not. Ever just be you. Just because this chick over here is fine as hell doesn't mean you got to try to, or vice versa, this guy over here for a female is fine as hell. Don't try to change who you are to try and get with that person, knowing damn well that down the line, you're not going to be that way. Because all that gives us is a false sense of, a, a, a false sense of compatibility. 
and then we fall in love with the person that you're showing and then you change and it's like what are we supposed to do what are we supposed to do anyways rant over let's keep going say you were no you wasn't no you weren't who i thought you were because you lie and you cheat all you do is deceive got me weak in the knees and i'm begging you please because i want you to go i don't want you no more say you fine by yourself so i found someone else and it's making me happy but it's making you crazy and now you got me laughing because she is amazing you said i make you sick sick to your stomach it. and when i see you i know than I've ever been You're distracting You and me have come to an end Cause you make me sick Sick to my stomach And when I see you It's not what I wanted I'm happy Happier than I've ever been We've been down that road But never again We're gonna stop it there Ooh, bass. If there's one thing I could say, man, you always put out really relatable music. And not always necessarily just relatable to me. Because there's, there's, there's been some songs I've reacted to that while I can't personally relate to it, I know there's tons of people out there that can. And it's why I will continue to push your music, man. Because you rap about some real shit. It's not all women and money and cars. As a matter of fact, it's none of that. It's relationship issues, issues with being bullied, or abuse and and man i'm just dude there's not a massive men song guys i'm telling you straight up for me there has not been one massive men song that i don't like that i've heard so far not one the only song he's put out that i don't think i could listen to on a regular basis was <clears throat> the one he wrote for his friends or family that we're getting married. And again, it's, it's, it's still a good song, but it's just not one that like, I feel like I could super relate to in the long term. Um, but everything else, dude, like straight up, man, even including that song though, amazing music mass. I can't see. I, I I can't wait to see what you come out with next, man. I cannot wait to see what you come out with next. Keep doing the live streams too, homie. I know I haven't been in a couple of them lately. I've um, just been really busy at work. I'll swing by and say what's up again here soon. Um, great seeing you on a semi daily basis and and just seeing how things are going. Um, you're a great great man, great musician, and man, I can't wait to see where you go from here. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it with this reaction. If you guys liked the video, be sure to slash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Comment down below what did you think of Massive Man Sick featuring Massetti, Charlie Blaze, and Hunted Dollar. Also, be sure to check the description below, or also be sure to comment below if there's anything else you guys want to see me react to. There's not too many more Massive Man songs that I haven't reacted to. I think there's one or two that I haven't done yet, and we will get to those. Believe that. Um, just got a lot of stuff going on right now with work and 10 to 12 hour shifts and just a bunch of craziness. Um, also, be sure to check the description below for my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and my BitChute, as well as the Vibe Discord, where artists, reactors, and fans hang out. The Bar, where artists, reactors, and fans hang out, as well as the Vibe Discord YouTube. Be sure to check that out, guys. Anyways, I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching, and I cannot wait to see you to pray people later. Peace.